Hey, what's happening gamers? Welcome back to K-Wing's Let's Plays. If you like our stuff, why not subscribe? This is Kirby's Extra Epic Yarn for the 3DS. Yay! And today we're traveling to, I think it was Cake Land. So, in the ah. comment section below, tell us your favorite dessert and why it's your favorite. I know my favorite dessert! Actually, wait, it's between two desserts, actually. It's between two desserts. All right. I think I knew your... Whoa! We unlocked a bonus oh. level? When did we do that? Um, I'm trying to think of what your favorite dessert is. Yeah, good luck with that. I have a lot of desserts I like. A berry tart? No. Um... You fail. Key lime pie? Nope. Mm. And we've been married 13 years, folks. Ah! Let's see. Apple... Nope. Pie with ice cream. Nope. Cha cha cha. I would just give up, Amber. You're embarrassing I don't yourself. Want lava, like that chocolate cake that has like chocolate fudge in the middle of it. You're gonna make me cry. Chocolate chip cookie. I'm invisible to my own wife. Oh my gosh. All right, so this is Cake World, and for whatever reason, Kirby still has his sword thing, which is weird. I thought usually when you restart a game, you don't have your same power-ups anymore. Oh well, I'm not uh, complaining. All right, what are my two favorite desserts? Uh, New York cheesecake. Oh my gosh, how do you know my favorite desserts? And then the other one would just be regular stuff that I just, is my favorite food. See, you used to like dipping apples in caramel stuff. Oh my gosh, But no. I don't know if I would count that as a dessert. I think anyone in the comments could get this. It's my favorite food and dessert at the same time. Salad? Kirby, Kirby loves it. Cake? Ice cream! How does Kirby like ice cream? He loves ice cream! There's like a whole ice cream level! There's a whole ice cream world in several of his games. Well, right now we're in a cake level, so I mean... There's that. All right, your favorite dessert is cake. Uh, I don't even know what your favorite dessert is. Wow, see, this is... I give up. We need marital counseling. I give up. Good, give up. Kirby's got his cute little tinfoil hat. He's like, the sky is falling. Oh my gosh. Ah. Enough with the conspiracies. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> He's like, it's the end of reality as we know it. Ah. <laughs> Reality ended a long time ago. All right, so that's gonna keep me safe. You're behind the quilt. I'm gonna see your bump. <laughs> wow, I'm gonna man! See your little like your body move around under the quilt. Oh my god! These extra power ups just make the game. I don't know. Oh my bit. gosh, Kirby is so adorable. It's not. Kirby is so adorable. It should be illegal how adorable he is. Hi. All right, so that's gonna be painful. We're just gonna wait it out. Yep, bye. <laughs> the only thing that could make him more adorable is if he had your voice, Kaling. What? Where, where are you going with that? Wait, where... I thought you used to do the Anya A in your like really deep voice. <laughs> I don't know about that. Anya A. Mm. Oh, that was actually a really good impression you just did. Luke. Okay, that was me. Yeah. Okay, so I'm guessing there's gonna be something cool. Yes! This a tiny robot. tin robot. It looked, looked tiny for me, but... That guy's Ooh. not wearing a hat anymore! Alright, oh. well, this music is like really loud in my earphones. Cha-cha-cha. Alright, I'm just gonna put it halfway off my ears. So I can hear. Thanks for telling the whole class, Amber. You're welcome. I just was making a suggestion in case it's blaring in your ears. I'm already deaf. Also... From all that drumming. I yeah, it did uh, do some damage. Did did, but I didn't care at the time. It was like metal. Yep, take a lesson from K Wing kids. Well, I I doubt hardly many kids today like will go through and <laughs> plug their uh, boombox, which is already loud, into an amplifier. Yeah, because we, <laughs> back then we didn't actually have like elect a lot of electronic drums and stuff. Nope. And also, I wanted to play along to the music. That's how I learned how to play the drums, so... Uh, I needed to be able to hear in order to, you know, play by ear. I have to say that the few times I played in music ensembles with you and some people playing the bass and electric guitar, 
my ears, like, I could hear ringing after. Oh, yeah. I was sitting there with my violin in front of you guys. I could not hear myself. Why is this deck not moving? My violin was so... I was playing at the loudest volume, I could not even hear my violin. Oh! No, no, duck, go the other way. Ducky! What? How do we get the... Okay, that's how we get the duck You're like... Move. Yeah, you're, you're, you're sucking him in, into your vortex. There you go. Good job, Kirby. So I hope everyone's having a great day. Today we have Shadow. <laughs> The duck, the duck is going crazy. <laughs> oh, that's so good. So Shadow is here watching our series, and Luke Shoot. is Luke is also here uh, today. No, I'm... And he's wearing a nice Mr. Rogers blue sweater. What? No. <laughs> Terrible. Yes, you woman. are. You look like kind of. Well, you look cute. I like Luke's wearing a sweater because apparently it's getting colder. No, it's not. It's actually getting warmer. And why are you wearing a sweater? I don't need to tell you my design choices. I just okay. felt like it, yo. Right, I don't so know, Luke. Kinda... You're, you know, you're mm. doing a Let's Play. You're out there on the internet. You're a public figure now. I've been a public figure for 12 years. I don't so, care. Pretty soon we're going to have, uh, you know, all these reporters come to your house say, K-Wing, why are you, did you choose that sweater to wear today? Yeah, that's never happening. <laughs> In fact, hardly anybody knows my real name. They just know my online alias. And Wait, I prefer it that way. I, I'm I not... Know, do I know your real name? Your real name is Luke, I thought. Oh, they were about... Yeah. Oh, you mean your other name. Okay. I'm yeah. talking about my full name. Oh, right, right, right. I like uh, some anim animidity uh, online. Animity, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't... <laughs> I'm not one of those people that like, Yeah, this is my full name. This is where I live. And then they get surprised when fans come to their door. It's like, then why did you tell them yeah, where you live? Yeah, why did you tell them? You know they can that, Google everything. You know that someone of someone is gonna come. Out of yeah. if you have, even if you only have like a hundred people that watch your show or whatever, out of those hundred people, you know that one person is going to end up coming because, let's face it, not everyone is gonna be respectful of everyone's boundaries. Well, some people see like YouTubers as like a different type of like public figure, so that it's okay to come to their house because they're. They're just like you, they're on the internet, you know? Yeah, it's like, they're the same thing, exactly. So, I mean, it's not like I don't like viewers, I mean, I do conventions and stuff like that, but, but I just... Think I, about if we came to your house. Yeah, that's that's how you look at it. It's and like then, like, your mom up, was making dinner and we were like, hey, You got an extra going? seat at the table? Yeah, oh, you guys don't have any room for me? I you eat food? I eat food! <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, like, just think of how you would feel if we came to your house. Uninvited. <laughs> Or your school. <laughs> you know, I've always thought about like showing up at some of the the kids' uh, school that you know watch us over the years. It Especially, would be cute. It would be, no, it would I be mean, funny. It would be really great. I always thought it would be great someday if I was a billionaire, if I could do tours like tour around. Ah. So people are like, where are you coming to? You know, South Kentucky, and I'm just thinking like. South Kentucky. I don't know when I, I'll I was ever... like the ones where we get asked to come across the country, like uh, to either England or Australia, Korea. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm just saying, like, but there's only... They only ah! have conventions in certain areas of the country. But also, like, yeah... They have conventions all over the world now, sweetie. Yeah, but not in every state and every city. Why it's is not... the bear crying? I don't know, Luke. I think he needs help. I know, Maybe but he... I don't I don't know how to help the bear. Maybe he hit his eye. What? <laughs> how would that help the bear? I don't know. I feel like maybe it would help them. Wait, do that. Oh, his oh, foot! Oh, look, his little foot needs to be patched. <gasps> Thank you, friend. <laughs> <laughs> and I know that one person's gonna be triggered that I left that one thing behind, so I, I grabbed what? it. What? What one? Me? Are you talking about me? No, but we already kind of failed. We uh, we forgot one of the um. I'm triggered usually when we leave something behind, but I usually leave stuff behind anyway. No, I, I just did. I, I lost, uh, the microphone or something else that was there. You know why Kirby's Epic Yarn is one of the best games ever? Is Kirby can transform into all kinds of things. Wait, what? Transform. Oh, I remember this. Oh my gosh, you can make the railroad track. Yeah, I was never good at this. All right, so, uh. Oh my gosh, Luke. I don't think it goes upside down, does it? Uh, yes, it does. It does. does. Okay. Oh my goodness. No, go. Uh, we'll do it that way. 
This is just like that one game. No! With the ball. No, it's, it's not quite like that, it's but... It's a little bit like it. Uh-oh. Oh my gosh, Luke, this is uh, so <gasps> go. He picked up that little item! Nobody cares if we get every single jewel. I care! Nobody does. I Whoever it is that's triggered by it, I'm sorry, but we don't have time. We have to move on. Yeah, okay, I'm trying, trying to move on. I was gonna say, you best get there. Yeah, he was gonna jump you, in the trap. You best, you best do it! Ooh, there's a little star down there. But you can probably get that without the train, though. No, we can't. Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh! Yeah! Watch out, the train is... track is gonna disappear. I'm making the train track do its thing. Whoa! Whoa! Oh my gosh. Okay, that didn't go well. Oh, this is frustrating. Um, let's see here. Train on turbo mode. <laughs> I don't think it matters if we get that turbo thing. I'm sure it matters. Everything matters, Amber. Alright, now Shadow's getting triggered because she's like, ah, no, it doesn't matter. Whoa, you just, you just bulldoze through that. Did that just happen? Yep. <gasps> this new music plays? Oh. Toy tracks. Wait, that's... Was that a patch? No. Ah! No, 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 go, go this way. Okay. Wait, what is, what is that? Is that a, uh... Oh my gosh, I just had a thought, but I will tell you later. Is that, is that what the, uh, the smoke was? You had a thought? Yeah, it had to do with Star Wars, but I'll tell you Please later. Please, no. I'm gonna tell you later. Heaven help me. <laughs> Why? Why? Later. <laughs> You'll thank me later. Uh, I don't think so. <sighs> Shadow's like, can I leave before that happens? I think that. No, oh, that was a. Oh, that was a stamp. Nani! Last. You screamed what? Yes, I did. <laughs> I screamed what in Japanese because. Oh. <laughs> what? Yeah. I'm translating. That great translation there. Now we oh, know what Nani my means. Goodness. Before I thought it was like something from a quote from a movie. <laughs> Technically, it's in a lot of movies that are Japanese. Oh. It's one of the most used words. What about the word the? Is that in a lot of American movies? The? Uh, what about the word cat? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, international jokes only work for international movies. Making fun of American movies when you're American is stupid. That would be like a Japanese person. Like, you know, laughing every time somebody said what. It just, it doesn't work. Oh. Really? It, it works on our side of the world because, you know, it's funny because we're foreign to them. <laughs> yeah. Never mind. Oh, uh, I don't know. Yeah, uh, it's kind of like, remember when whoa. you went to college and you had all those, uh, like, people from different Asian countries that basically, a lot of them were from Japan and you used to sit at lunch with them? And then you were talking about all the animes you watch and everything like that, but like to them they were like, "Oh, we don't really watch all those." Oh yeah, I remember <laughs> that. That that was one of the most embarrassing moments of my life. You probably thought that I, I, I was all I was that. geeking so much too because I thought I had something in common with like because the Japanese kids were like the smartest in the school, and yeah. when I told them I watched anime and they just kind of laughed at me. I was it's like, kind of like, uh, it seemed kind of mean that they did that, to be honest. They were still the coolest kids to hang out with in college. Yeah, I mean, they didn't. It, it really was nice. it was a polite laugh. It was yeah. They were probably like, <laughs> like yeah. a friendship laugh. Nah. Like you're still still my friend. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. And I love you, but I think uh, you're a little weird in no, a cute way. I wouldn't. I wouldn't no, say. No, you don't. That's not the way that it was. Okay. No, they they called me Gaijin <laughs> quite a bit. Gaijin. It's, it's like uh, a name for foreigners. So they basically, um, you were a running gag. I I <laughs> brought life into their little group. <laughs> I did. They enjoyed trolling you. Okay, so it's kind of the way trolling that... Trolling didn't exist back then. All right, so it's kind of the way that right now in my cooking class, 
Um, I am a running gag because I'm short. <laughs> and people are mercilessly, like, basically making fun of me because I need to ask for help every, every time I need a pot or an, a colander from the top shelf. I have to ask somebody for help because I cannot reach it. I'm the only one in my class who can't reach it. Everyone else can. Even the other girl in my class is taller than me, and she's 20 years old. And she's taller than me. I mean, I'm, like, small. I don't know what to say. Yeah, I would have. What I would have paid to see that. But I actually got to meet your friend Sachi later. Yes, you did. That was pretty cool. Oh, oh! And he tried to eat my cooking, but it was interesting. How in the world? I don't remember him actually eating a bite of it, though. Smart man. <laughs> hey! I was like Sachi. <laughs> oh my uh... gosh. I think I did this in a way I wasn't supposed to. I think to. you were supposed to come down the other way. Yeah, I think I was. Wow, I'm awesome. Breaking the rules. Hey, I wanted that. Rebel without a cause. So, the more I keep thinking about this game, I, I like this Kirby game. I'm getting a lot of questions on Twitter and uh, our other social media things. They're like, what do you honestly think of Kirby's Epic Yarn again? It's like, this is almost like an entirely different game. It's like... They went through Kirby's Epic Yarn and thought, okay, this was stuff that didn't work, but it did work. It was different. You know, it was yeah. like Kirby doesn't have his powers anymore because of, you know, that wool villain. Yeah. So when you give him powers again... It's not really Kirby's Epic Yarn anymore. It's like Kirby... you were You were supposed to unravel the bad guys and find new ways of um, dealing with... Kirby's horrible situation. It was like Kirby got stranded on a desert island made of wilderness, and he had to work with what he had. Yeah, I mean, he had to find new imaginative ways of doing stuff. So, I mean, for somebody new to the franchise, like Epic Yarn, this has got to be, like, a very similar Kirby experience for them. But yeah. for me, who played the original, I really thought the quirkiness of using yarn to transform into a car and the train and to... Like, not be able to attack enemies anymore using things like bombs and swords was pretty interesting. It had a I, cool I would, challenge aspect. Yeah, it did. They, it that, was challenging. And they took it away with this. This is not as challenging. Like, I wish there was a way to play this game without using the, uh, oh. the new power-ups. I mean, you could. That should be, like, in challenge mode. No power-ups. It should be a challenge mode, but... Because see what I just did right there where I unraveled that bad guy? That's how you're supposed to deal with people in this game. You're supposed to use part of your body to destroy their body. <laughs> yeah. You know, you kind of feel like you're an amoeba because it's like... <laughs> uh, I don't know. No, what? You're, you're definitely a yarn person. Oh, there's a little hat. Yeah, there's another power. Because, I mean, the enemies all still have uh, retained their Kirby power-ups from the previous games, but Kirby's not supposed to. Exactly. That, that, that's just my two cents I on it. Like I mean, that is the best explanation of exactly what I was thinking. Whee! I agree, and I and I don't. I mean, I don't want to put you through pain and challenge this. You because... do put me through pain. It's called marital bliss. Okay. <laughs> All right. What I mean in the game. Oh. Like, oh. Like, okay. So different. Different thing. Okay. <laughs> different type of pain. Okay. <laughs> hey. Oh. So what I'm saying is like I I probably wouldn't be able to get through. Well, no, I was playing the original Kirby's Epic Yarn. Yes, you did. And if you guys want to see the original, go to our I was playlist. I playing it, but I wasn't playing as good as Luke. But yeah, go to our original playlist. I the original Kirby's Epic Yarn. I beat the original before we did the series because I was contracted to make. I had to do how many reviews? I had to do three different reviews for three different publications. See, the the thing that I didn't like. If it was yeah. like today and I got asked by a publication to be like, uh, we would like you to write a review, it'd be like, okay, great. Um, you just send them the same one you did. Exactly. The and then just be <laughs> like, this is K Wing's review, and they just blasted on their other things. But no, it wasn't like that. It was no. like, we're hiring Luke so and so to, uh, you know, write a review because you his, his YouTube. Times. I had to write it three different ways for three different companies. You hated that. I did because that was the most... Everybody asked me, what was the most challenging thing about your video game career? Like, working as a game journal. When I had to write for three different publications to pay the bills, and I couldn't plagiarize myself. <laughs> yeah. that, that was 
hardest thing. You know what it's like? What, what did I say for Got Game? What did I say for One Up? What did I say for Game Zone? Oh man! What it would have been challenging for me writing three different reviews is if I accidentally said the opposite in one review as I said for another one. Okay, like well, if I was like, I, I really like this game, I'm gonna give it a nine, and then the next one I was like, you know what, come to think of it, I didn't like this game, right. it gets a four. Okay, so, well, actually, no, that did happen sometimes. Oh I, I had worked on Final Fantasy 13 so many times that I hated the game by, like, the... Oh my God. I'm trying to remember, like, the third review. In fact, um, for some of the games that I did, um, I would hire a ghostwriter friend. Like, it, it, it came to the point where, and you guys maybe you remember Kyle, our, our RPG, um, he was a friend of mine back in early YouTube, and he was a super, super fan of, uh, Retro Mondays. It was the only series he really liked was Retro Mondays. Um, but I told him that I was like, I was on some social media thing, I don't remember how we used to talk, it might have been Skype. But I reached out to him because I had hit writer's block because I was working on Final Fantasy in another game at the same time. And he helped me, like, kind of write an outline with a different, like, wording for um, a couple of the reviews, like, later because I just well, got fed up. He was really good with just keeping you on track. Yes. And just, like, because you basically are the kind of person that it's just, like, you end up having writer's block and you don't even know where to go. And then you just, like, basically call in. A consultant <laughs> to help you out. Yep. <laughs> yep. So, I mean, he really helped with the outlines, and then I, I would see, like, the direction he was going, and I'd rewrite it sometimes. It'd well, be like, okay, this is what I'm gonna do. Yeah, and especially because, like, some companies would have certain requirements, like... All the requirements oh, well, back need, then were crazy. You know, you can't say this about the game, or you need to explain... You know, I need you to talk about the jumping mechanic and how that differs from our last, uh, you know, game in the franchise and, like, all the different things that they would expect. And, you that, know... That was also when I, I had to start playing a lot of, like, uh, we'll say, mature-rated games for a living. And I was yeah. kind of like, I don't know anything about this market. So that was fun. It was yeah. a bit challenging. Well, also for me, like, I didn't... Yata! I didn't really like. I like these kind of games. My also my Amber, favorite. get get this memorized. My favorite type of pie or dessert is peach pie, and my favorite. I, I know you like peach pie. I didn't know it was your favorite. It's my favorite, and I also love my grandmother's summer pie. It was one of my favorite desserts. That was one of your favorites. Mm hmm. Okay, well, I guess I will make that more because I didn't realize that was your favorite. That's one of my favorites. It's yeah. actually not that expensive to make. I know. That's why it was it was good. It was on a budget. Did you know that Jello is actually good for your bones? Yes, I know. I when I um, shattered my arms when I was a kid, the doctor had me eat a lot of Jello, and that's that... that's one of the reasons why Grandma made a lot of summer pie. That's why your grandmother made that for you. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm having the feels right now. Yep. Your grandma was such a. Good and my cook. Portuguese grandmother had another type of dessert that she would give me. So. You know what also has gelatin in it? Any kind of, um, stock. Like beef stock, chicken stock, turkey stock. But you have That's to remember, my my, really my dad's mom was super quiet. So, I mean, she didn't really... Uh, the Portuguese grandmother, to this day, is super outspoken, but... Um, my other I grandma, love... God, God rest her soul, she was very quiet, I you love... know? I was also very quiet, though. Until you became a YouTuber, and you then- You made me talk! I know, and I loved making you, you talk. You made me talk! I didn't even want to! You had me talk more. I got so nervous and shy. One of my, my favorite cakes is, like, one that I've hardly ever had because they don't make it like this. In New York, they make it, but it's, like, the famous, like, strawberry, like, cake that you see in animes. Like, hardly anybody in the Western world makes cake like that, but in Are, Japan, that's their definition of a westernized you cake. You mean, like, strawberry short cake? No, it's not strawberry. It's a strawberry cake. Like, that, it, it's like... I thought you got me that once for my birthday. I did. I had to go all the way close to Boston to get it. it was the yeah, only... that was really good. I don't even know what that was made out of. Mm -hmm. It had cream and strawberry... I got it at an Asian bakery. <laughs> You went out on your own and got that at an Asian bakery for me? Well, I got something for me, too. I just ate it before I came home. I didn't know you did that. Oh, yeah. There's no place around there 
like here though. Like, Actually, we do have an Asian market. Um, yeah, the, but if you guys are wondering what in the world is, is K-Wing talking about, like the, the cake. So what you see in anime is there's this type of cake. Why can't I go down there? That was good cake. Why can't I get down it's there? Not letting you have to go the other way. No, it's not. I, I got it. I guess I was wrong. We're wrong. I was correct. But um, the type of cake I uh I really like it's just a regular vanilla cake or you know white cake, whatever you want to call it. Um, in the middle of the cake, it has like strawberries with like a hint of either strawberry jam or a type of like fruit filling. And then the top is adorned with like stylish use of real strawberries with some very light cream. Mm -hmm. And it just, it looks really good. And that is the cake you always see in anime that they view as westernized cakes. But in the West, they don't really make it. We it's, don't really have that No, we, we make cakes that are really unhealthy for you and super sugary. And this thing is actually, you know, it's pretty like, good. It's like cream, but it's not like, not. It's not, not like super sugary. It's not like buttercream frosting. No, and it, it's not like that. When you tell them that too, I want something that doesn't taste super sweet in the West. Like, outside of Boston, they don't know how to do it. And they make the case taste like sour or just doesn't like it the. Tastes like they, they turn yeah they turn it into like kind of like a um a cream cheese thing and it's not a no, cream cheese it's thing. It's not cream cheese. It's like it's kind of like um. Dang it! It's like homemade whipped cream, but only a touch of sugar. Yeah. Not like a ton of sugar, a little hint of sugar. In it, it. It's really good, but it it doesn't taste like. When, whenever people make a health food cake, they make it with cream cheese, and it's just like, why? What are you doing exactly? I don't know. You I... have to sit in here, and then you wait till that thing comes, and then you hop on it, and then go up there. No. You have to wait till it comes. Are you, are you seriously going to point at it? Yeah. Okay, that's me. <laughs> and we're getting triggered here. Well, you were doing the same thing like 15,000 times. And I don't think I'm exaggerating. I got my donut pillow, so it doesn't right. matter. I feel like after watching you do that so many times, I really need a soda right now. What? That made you exhausted? <laughs> yes. Whatever. I did. Oh, watching I games is so tiring. Oh. Well, I mean, pretending to be. <laughs> oh. All right. <laughs> wow. Wow. You know, yeah, you actually enjoy it when I'm like savage, but most people that I met in school like really did not like me when I talked like that. They'd be like, "What exactly is that power up?" Oh, that's the same power up I'm wearing. I was like, but "Why didn't that you work?" You know that it's all in jest, kind of. Kind of. I'm almost like half serious, half joking. Mm. That's right. I'll get you back with DMC later. It's like I'm joking in a nice way for people that are nice to me, but people that aren't nice to me. I'm still joking. Oh, uh, random question for you. I'm being as you. nice as I can. Not you. <laughs> um, random question for you guys watching. We got a code for uh, the remake or reimagining of Toe Jam and Earl. Ooh. Um, what would you guys like to see about that game? You want a stream, a preview? Let me know in the comment section below. Because. I want to see. <gasps> yeah, do you guys want to see a stream, an episode? Oh or, no! Or a full playthrough. Sadness. Hi. So yeah, Prince Fluff. He gives you power ups now. That's his job. I feel so bad that Prince Fluff can't be on the adventure with us. Wait, did we play as Prince Fluff or did we play as just a random? I remember playing as Prince Fluff. Really? I thought we played. I as could just... be wrong, but I thought we got to play as him. Because he was trying to help save his kingdom, too. Why would he not be in on it? Look at how clever I it am. It doesn't make any sense to the storyline <laughs> that Prince... I'm going to have to go watch the episodes again, but... I can't watch your old stuff. It's too cringy. What? It I can't. Not. People are still watching it. I feel bad we for them. We still get comments. You know what we need to do? We need to put a link to the new one in the old one. That's what we really need to do, because yep. people are still watching our old stuff, and they have no idea that we've been doing new stuff. They're like, where do these people go? Uh, How come they don't post anymore? And it's like, we post every day. <laughs> yeah. Here we are. We exist. That looks like frosting. Like it's on top of a cake. Yeah, but there was supposed to be... I missed a drill power-up, I guess? Oops. Yeah. Oh, well. Well, maybe we can just go back and get it. Nope. 
it doesn't work that way. Hello. Actually, you know what? You're right. Maybe we can. All right, keep an eye out for... There it is. <gasps> That's what the cake looks like right there with the strawberries on top. It's similar. A little bit. What? That's what I need. Come uh, on, Kirby, you've got this! Herbster! Oh, this cake has fruit all over it, Luke! Delicious. And I am making you some bean soup today, which has nothing to do with fruit. But I did get you some fruit at the store today. Was that, was that all I needed to do there? Um, I think you just have to get as many of those jewel things as you can. No... I know what that served. No, no, no. I know. Watch. You're going, like, yeah? Yeah, okay, yeah, so I'm going a little slow, but watch. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, we're gonna climb up here now. I made, like, a Happy little path. Happy music! See? No, Shadow! Shadow, 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 Shadow! Don't, don't hurt did, the- Did she, did she knock out the wire? Okay, good. Nope. Shadow, <laughs> come here with me, honey! Yeah, whatever. Okay, see how I was able to get up there now? So then I just go up here, and... Hi! Why can't I grab that? Why? I was gonna say. Alright, so we got all the dessert stuff. So that, that was the point of all of that. Right there. But I've never made you a fresh peach pie. Yes, you have. I have? Yeah. Well, like, that I get for Frozen. Still counts. It doesn't count for me. I need to make it with my little hands and with love. And with peaches, of course. Mmm, peaches. So yeah, guys, I can't help but think about food. Like, right now, because this is dessert land, so I mean, you know. That's what Kirby always thinks about his food, because he eats all the time. It's like a human vacuum. Well, I mean, not... you know what I mean. Actually, uh, I think that there is a, a vacuum company called Kirby. Aha! I believe that Kirby is another is a name for a vacuum company. Yep. Which is weird. <laughs> Kirby is the name of vacuum company in Japan. Um, pretty sure they have it here, unless the Japanese company is here, because when we there was a town that we lived by that had a Kirby vacuum manufacturer thing near the RMV. No. Sadness. Hi. We didn't find the soundtrack. The sadness is real. Real sad. <laughs> oh my gosh, Loop. Mm. In all the stores today, they had, um, like, Mickey Mouse, like, ear, like, faces with ears on it, like chocolate, um, ice cream bars. I should have gotten you some, but, uh, it was like Mickey Mouse's birthday or something? I don't know. Something weird like that. Hey! The only reason I didn't pick up some is they were, like, tremendously overpriced. They were, like, $8 for a tiny box. Yeah, but today is actually Mario Day or something. March 10th is Mario Day. Oh. Yeah. All right, so anyway, guys and gals, that is going to do it for this episode. Join us next time as we head to Melody Town yeah. uh, as part of Treat Land. So music and food tend to go together. Unless it's, like, really edgy stuff and you're getting indigestion, then it's not good. <laughs> Darkness! No parents! Okay. So anyway, God bless and happy gaming. Have a great rest of your day, and we will see you with more Kirby's Extras. Ep Kirby's Extra Epic Yarn tomorrow! Kirby's Epic Yarn with extra cheese! Yeah, whatever. Alright, later guys and gals. <laughs>